Hello ladies and gentlemen, today with BK. Hope everyone's doing okay. Update on my trailer, my Blazer trailer here. Uh, my wife was nice enough to buy me some type of a cover here. These are all on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description but for this cover here because, you know, it gets the rain here and all that and you don't want rust up and all that down in here. I bought this box from Lowe's. I'll put that link in the description. I mounted it with four bolts into it. Um, and sorry, I don't have the key right now with me right now to open it, but it, it's, yeah, it's just an open box. And then I put this, I bought this through Vivor, and this cover was an Amazon cover, but I'll take it off so you can see it. But this is, this, this uh, winch is an 18,000 pound winch, and I'm gonna bring it around here. 18,000 pound winch through Vivor, which I have bought things from them in the past. And it's Vivor.com. Uh, they, you can earn rewards, all of that. I'll put that in the description. But yeah, I know 18,000 is overboard, but hey, <laughs> you never know. So what I did was I ran through here and I put some holes here. I still gotta find me some grommets that can actually do pretty well right there. If not, I'll just silicone that black. But this comes with two remotes. I'm gonna do a review on this winch later. But it comes with two remotes that are wireless and also a wired remote, which go right here. Uh, so, But I'm looking forward to it. What I'm gonna do is I'll present, um, there's the bad boy CT Elite that uh, if y'all wanna look on my channel, it's there. But I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how it works. You know, it'll be first thing, as soon as I go to use it, you'll see it, how this uh, winch is gonna work. But, why, but I did buy, and I'll put that in the description and that'll be a separate review. Um, it's an Energizer uh, one gauge uh, for electricity to come from my vehicle. I'm gonna put it on a 2005 Tahoe, coming from the battery run it under the back and it has a quick connect and I'm gonna connect that to this through a junction in here and that way all I gotta do is open the box connect it to it put the, the car on whatever I'm bringing up put on the the trailer and then disconnect that quick connect it has a rubber connection that will go to the vehicle which all that will be shown on in my video uh, so uh, that'll be an update as well now I did since this thing does sit here uh, you know, I'm a veteran. Shout out to all the veterans out there. Um, thank you for your service. Yeah, but I, I, this is, this is really cool here. Uh, my wife got me that as well. And these, these are just RV skirts that they put on vehicles for RV. I just want to protect this thing. Y'all all know these are an investment. This is something that you want to take care of. You don't want to have to worry about something, um, uh, you know dry rotting tires too soon and that protects it from that sun to keep these tires from dry rotting um you know you still have to do touch up you can see i mean i'm gonna have to do touch up in here and there the pollen season is terrible so but um that's a quick update what i'm doing on this trailer like i said i will pop another uh a video about all the uh, that winch connecting it and, and getting a vehicle up on this and we'll go for a ride in this thing and see how it tracks It tracked beautifully with nothing on it. So I imagine with some weight. It's, it's gonna track even better But like you can see here this you got a little bit of rust section here. I, I mean, I I mean you can't just cover the whole thing uh, It's gonna have these little things. It is an outdoor trailer, but I like to do the best I can with it but stay tuned as well on the ZT Elite. I have a, an update on that. I was able to uh, repair something that came from the factory. Actually from the factory, not tight. If y'all want to put in the comments what you guess that is, uh, it's, it's crazy. So, but uh, I figured instead of getting it and taking it up to a dealership where they don't know what they're doing, I just fixed it myself and it does not void any warranty. All I did was just tighten it up. But look forward for that. Uh, 
if uh, please like subscribe hit that notification bell and uh, by all means comment let me know what you like and don't like what you want to see i don't know you know i have people unsubscribe or i have some people dislike i don't know what you like and what you don't if you don't let me know so uh thanks for watching and until further notice today would be chaos